Hello, this is Sanat here, and welcome back to Model Kit Monday, episode 54, Super Mini Plot Jet Icarus Review. Uh, it's been a little while since Model Kit Monday's been around. I've had a lack of ideas, slash lack of motivation, I guess. But I got this great kit in and decided, yeah, now's the time to bring back the show. So we're going to do a more casual format. I think I've toiled around with a heavier edited kind of style, but I think more so I'm going to kind of put uh, an emphasis on just kind of treating this sort of like a half model kit, half a Sentai Mecha review, as it is a model kit of a Sentai Mecha. So, yeah, basically that's it. Now this kit was released across five boxes, all looking like that, except they had different numbers on them to designate which one it was, and that includes uh, the five different components of Jet Icarus being Jet Hawk, Jet Swallow, Jet uh, Owl, Jet Condal, and Jet Swan. And yes, because it's written on there, we have to say Jet Condor. It's Jet Condor, and I'm going to refer to it as such. But, anyways, uh, each of these came in this really cool box. It looks very similar to the original Jet Icarus packaging, uh, including the reverse side, which featured the Icarus Haken mode. Uh, very cool, neat little uh, packaging. I do like Super Mini Pla quite a bit. I only own. Live Robo and Live Boxer, as well as Jet Icarus, and I did not get a chance to pre to Jet Garuda's, I just didn't have the money for middleman uh, services and such. So hopefully one day I can get that, or maybe they'll reissue it. Uh, but I definitely like to collect the Showa Mecha for Super Mini Plow, as it gives me something I don't have in the deluxe format, which is really cool. Now if I could afford it, I would be all in on this line, because I think these are absolutely fantastic. But, for the time being, Showa it is. So without further ado, let's begin. So Jet Hawk belongs to Red Hawk of Jetman, and it's a very cool vehicle. I like the look of it. The bird beak kind of reminds me of uh, the uh, Jet Falcon from Live Man, uh, just because of the way that it's designed, but I do like it a lot. I love, I love the plastic separation on Super Mini Plot. For example, the only stickers we have here are these vents kind of areas, the actual top part and the eyes, and then the stickers here that say Jet Hawk as long as, the, as well as the Roman numeral, Roman numeral one. The beak itself is its own plastic piece. All of these parts are painted. There's a lot of painted parts on this kit, more so than I was expecting. And overall it looks absolutely fantastic. A really great little vehicle. Now, one of my favorite details I think is the clear cockpits. It just kind of gives it that, you know, vibe from the series of the clear cockpits because you can always see the Jetman inside of them and that is super awesome. Other than that, I don't really want to go into transformations as there's two different modes to combine these into and doing the transformations here would just be a little bit confusing. So we're just going to go ahead and go with, uh, you know, that's Jet Hawk and that's all I'm really going to say on him. Next up is Jet Condor, even though it says Condor. Uh, very nice. I like the way that the eyes are done to be different plastic color uh, from the rest of the black cockpit. And that is a smoky translucent gray. Uh, as opposed to being a, you know, just plain black, uh, shiny black piece, which is really awesome. The, don't think there's actually any painted parts on him himself. I think this is all plastic colors, which is really impressive. The Roman numeral two. Stickers, 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 stickers. That is plastic. Those are plastic, but the rest are stickers. Uh, but overall, really cool. I like this vehicle a lot, and he looks really nice. Number three is Jet Owl, belonging to Yellow Owl. Uh, this is a very, very small vehicle. Uh, this is one of the arms components, why it's so small. It's very cool. You got, you know, a lot of great stuff. You've got, you know, yellow paint here, gold paint, and black paint there. The actual cockpit piece is also uh, painted. I thought it was going to be plastic, but it actually is painted, so it does match here, which is nice. Uh, and overall, you know, quite a few stickers to line up this area. Kind of slightly misaligned it. Um, you've got the Roman numeral three in place there. These are all sculpted details, by the way. This is sculpted, this is sculpted. Anything that's inset is gonna be sculpted, so if you are painting this, that is good to have. Again, nice cockpit, plus the white eyes are separate pieces as well, which is really cool. Um, I've always liked the look of this vehicle. I uh, especially like the fact that much like uh, Time Robo, the smaller vehicles get a little bit of a boost from these, which I just peeled off the sticker a little bit. Like, for example, he has this nice, like, jet sled kind of thing, uh, which I think just kind of adds to the, the overall shape of the vehicle. Number four is Jet Swan, belonging to White Swan. Uh, very nice, very similar to Jet Condor. Really not much else to say. He, it's basically the same thing with a different head, 
But again, all plastic colors for the head. Love the transparent cockpit. Sticker, 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 sticker. But even the uh, names are sculpted in onto that, which kind of bums me out that on uh, Jet Hawk, this isn't sculpted in, but on all of the others it is. So you have that option, but very, very nice. And number five is Jet Swallow belonging to Blue Swallow. Uh, very nice vehicle, very light apparently, but very similar to uh, Jet Owl in that it is a smaller vehicle. Uh, these parts are mold. I think this was the molded plastic. Uh, Jet, Jet Owl was painted, but cockpit, eyes separated. Sticker, 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 sticker. Painted, 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 painted. Uh, very, very nice overall. And yeah, just like uh, Jet Owl, it's kind of like here's an auxiliary piece that kind of works out. Look, I actually got the sticker right on this one. Yay! Uh, but yeah, really cool. I like a lot of the Jetman vehicles because they are distinctively components, but have a lot of distinctive looks to them. So now that we have all five vehicles ready, we're going to assemble them into the Icarus Haken mode now, for those that don't know. That is the combined vehicle mode. Again, a lot of similarities to Time Robo. Maybe Time Robo is just made to be similar to Jet Icarus in that way. So we're going to start with uh, Jet Hawk. These side panels slide in and push in, which I think was really cool to build. Then we're gonna take these side panels, fold the little wings up and fold back, out and back, close. We're gonna fold down both sides of that. We're then going to open up the top here. Take a look at that wonderfully painted Icarus head, move it out of the way. These parts flip out, which is insanely cool. This part comes down, kind of forms around that. We're then going to rotate these outward Kind of like that, we're gonna leave a little bit of space. And I think the hips are ready, but we're not exactly there yet. Um, so I got that, I really like the guides here where you get the blue and the yellow, so that way you know which side, because you could put either of these on the opposite sides. These are very simple, remove the, what I'm gonna call the gun sled, take it out of the way. We're gonna flip this around. We're going to then pull this part up, fold this down, fold this down, kind of line it all up into a uh, kind of you know, triangle formation, same here, take this piece off, then fold this in, pull this out, fold out, fold out, boom, just like that. We're then going to take swan down, wait, put this up, slide this piece out here, uh, bring this up, take this piece off, slide it around so that you get this direction. I believe it's this direction like this. Yep, slides into place. So you got the little thruster there. Bring this down. Oh, right. Fold the head in. Sorry, this is the complicated pieces of all this. Bring that in. Make sure that's up. It's got to line up perfectly as that has like a slot for that peg to go in. Then we need to close those and fold this down. And bring it around. That's that's one side of it. <laughs> that's that's a little bit intense, but we got that for Swan and Condor. Condor, same thing. Bring it around. Fold this in. Fold this in. Pull out. Bring around. Pull out. Swap around. How did I do it on this one? I gotta make sure the thruster lines up correctly. So it's the that's. Fold the head in, bring it here, push it down, make sure it lines up in the slots. Come on. Sometimes it's a little tricky. There are extra pegs to align this with. Yeah, there we go. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a push. And now we're ready to assemble this thing. So first up, we're gonna attach these two together. Uh, they have a peg and a hole. These line up just like that. Now, this is the part that's always kind of tricky because you want to make sure that the hips are in the right position so that the pieces here are up top. Uh, in fact, we're actually just going to pull these hips out because I found that is easier than trying to peg them on the traditional way. So we'll just put those in like this, just like that, and those will go in. Make sure that's kind of butted up. You actually can pull this down, I think, to balance it out is what it suggests, I think, from the instruction, if I remember correctly. Uh, and then we have the side pieces, so those go there. And 
what, what kind of weird about this is that you don't actually get like a way to peg down the arms. So I find them kind of floating a little bit. Uh, but we're gonna line that up like that. Of course, yellow on the other side. Like that. And that is the Icarus Haken mode for Jet Icarus. And if I've completely forgotten how the name is, I'm going to dub it over later in post-production. But this is the Icarus Haken. Uh, very nice, very, very good. Uh, there's no real way to attach these. Um, so there's that. But I think that overall, I really do like it. Uh, I really love this mode. It's it's such a cool jet, and I love how Jet Garuda actually adds to it, which is why I do want a Jet Garuda now. Um, at the time, I was like, oh, do I want Jet Garuda? And then now I'm like, oh, I want Jet Garuda. But very cool, very nice. I love how it's in this, you know, shape. Again, Time Robo very much emulates this in a lot of ways. Now, Time Robo was able to make a base with the extra parts. These parts don't go anywhere on here. As far as I can tell, I'm sure you could shop something together. And the mode just kind of tilts forward a little bit, but I like it. I like it a lot. Reminds me of Gachamon, which I think is the whole point. Um, I love the transition of color there. Looks pretty sweet. Overall, very nice mode. But of course, we gotta get it to the Jet Icarus mecha mode. All right, so we're gonna just go straight from Icarus Haken to Jet Icarus because it kind of transitions nicely. So we're gonna take off uh, Jet Swallow, fold this up like this, push it in. I'm gonna bring this out. Now you notice there's no fists. Uh, I believe that's the case on the original as well. So the fists are included. They are their own pieces. So we'll plug this fist on here. And just for consistency, we'll just leave the elbow straight. Pull this out, bring this around, bring it in, out, in, fist. I keep thinking you don't wanna pull this around for the fist, but it doesn't exist there. So you got that, which is nice. Uh, we're then just going to pull this whole section out, the hips come with it, uh, flip this up, bring the head out, fold these down and in, and fold these down. They do rotate, so be careful not to flip it around if you're ever doing this, but bring this around like so, and there we got the torso, which looks nice. Let's get the arms plugged on now, so I'm doing this in approximation of the show transformation. Uh, then we're going to split these. Now we can actually transform these without disconnecting from the hips, uh, which isn't too difficult, I don't think. But we'll take Condol. We need to move this piece so you can flip that around. And then reinsert the piece. Make sure it slides onto the grooves. I think actually, yeah, it has to be the same direction. Unless you completely miss the grooves that it's trying to line up to, that won't go in. There you got that. We're going to do the same here with on, so to pull it completely out. That happens a lot. Uh, if you ever buy this kit and are freaking out because the feet keeps coming out, it just is how it is. It is a model kit at the end of the day. So line that up. So it clicks. Uh, from here, this is where it gets fun. You gotta turn them. You actually need to face this direction uh, for the correctness. Pop these open. You gotta pop the wings open because there's little tabs here that are locked down by the wings. Pop those open and now you'll be able to lift out the leg joints and again close those on there. So you got that option. Open that up here. Pull it out. Flip around. Make sure those don't fly off. The tension. Then we got the legs and I can just attach the hip piece back in. And now we got Jet Icarus and he looks fantastic. Not only do I love the Jet Icarus robot design, but I love this kit of it. It brings out a lot of the show suit design, while also having a lot of emulation of the original toy, with the transformation feature and everything. Very hefty. This is my first five part Super Mini Plot. My previous one was Live Robo, which was only a three part. Uh, and then Live Box, which is two part, but a little bit bigger. But you know, this is really nice. It feels really hefty and substantial. I love the head, very nice paint details. The gold matches between the shoulders and the chest, which looks fantastic. Overall, really fantastic looking uh, figure. And really, it doesn't look like it is a transformable figure. Like, this looks like an action figure of Jet Icarus, and the fact that it transforms is quite amazing. I'm really impressed by it. So let's get into cool details. So first up, uh, the head, really nice. It does rotate side to side. It has a little bit up and down because it doesn't have ball joint. So you do have that little bit of option. The shoulders do rotate 360, they move outward. They also rotate the bicep and they bend 
at the elbow way far, which is really impressive. They also have an outward shoulder joint for different weapon usage. The wrist can also pivot inwards, which is handy for later. There's no real waist joint, though you can tilt it back and forth. The hips move out and the skirt pieces move out of the way. Forward and the skirt piece moves out of the way. Back and it gets a little bit of resistance. Uh, you've got a thigh swivel up at the connection, a knee joint that goes super far. Like that's just impressive. And then an ankle tilt, uh, which can move side to side as well as forward back it's a ball joint and it can pull out to get a really deep ankle bend, which is really impressive. Now, of course, what's the point of rollerless articulation if you don't have any accessories? So let's get into that. First up, we'll take the extra piece from Blue Swallow. We'll fold it up, uh, making sure we get the handle out of the way. The handle is a little bit tricky to get out, but once you got that, you got a shield from Blue Swallow. And then of course, you can also attach this piece, which has a little peg on the back, to his arm. So you got a nice little like shield gun thing. I can't remember if he actually used that like that in the show. I also do like the faux shoulder covering by the, the animal heads. But more importantly, we got to get the original weaponry being the sword. It has a couple stickers on it, but overall it looks really fantastic. And then you got your classic look at Jet Icarus. This is basically what came with the original toy. However, because it's a super mini plot and not just mini plot, they did a little bit of extra work. What do I mean by extra work? Well, if anyone that has watched Jetman remembers correctly, Jet Icarus did not just use the sword and shield or maybe the, the, the gun sled. Jet Icarus had a variety of random weapons that came out of seemingly nowhere. And so to replicate that, we have the axe, the throwing axe, we also have his hammer, which is there, which just is awesome. There's a sticker on the hammer to make it even more detailed. And then on top of that, we have his spear, which has removable knife pieces, which he can actually hold, which is really impressive. And of course, my favorite weapon of the whole thing, which is the hammer mace, which has a nice handle here, except his arm popped off because I was putting all the weight on it handle and of course because it's super mini flaw they gave it a faux chain it's not every link that's connected it's like every fourth link but look at that that's just awesome it's honestly better than most rx78 gundams which don't even include a chain ball like that uh, which is just amazing it's so cool uh, we're gonna give a little knife thing over here you get all kinds of weaponry and I think this is important because the legacy of this mecha is that he had random weapons, sort of Battle Fever Robo style, where they didn't really make much sense in the grand scheme of things for, you know, him to have. Like, they're very much gladiatorial weapons on a bird-themed mecha, which is awesome. And the fact that he's got all the articulation to pull this off is, I think, my favorite part of it. It's not just like they threw it in and they didn't think about it. It's like, no, this guy actually can wield all these weapons in the proper manner they should be wielded. And that's really, really cool. Now, of course, I think most people are probably gonna stick to just sword and shield, uh, since it's the traditional Sentai Mecha weaponry. But for me, I keep finding myself switching out which weapons he has, even if he does fall over like that, uh, just to give it some variety. I like I like kind of putting the uh, gun slide on his arm like this. So he's just got extra weapons there, you know, maybe tilting the shield outward these shoulder joints keep coming off. Um, but overall, I think that having just an arsenal of weaponry at his command is super cool, super awesome, and I want to see more of that in Sentai Mecha. Um, so this is a very fantastic release. I think that, you know, if you're a Jetman fan who missed out on the original because you didn't exist yet or didn't know it existed and didn't live in Japan, this is probably going to be your best bet to get a Jet Icarus. Same thing with Jet Garuda, probably. Uh, this is just awesome. I love it. Much like I said with Live Robo, I don't have the desire to get an original Jet Icarus anymore. If they did an update or a Solo Chagokin style that came with like all these weaponry, it'd be a different story, but for the most part, I really do like it. And the fact that I do have now a Jet Icarus and a Live Robo, plus a Live Boxer, which is in the other room, uh, I, I just, this is a dream come true. I never thought I'd be able to own any Showa Sentai Mecha in any form because it didn't seem like they wanted to make new versions of them. So to have these is fantastic, and the rumors are that Sun Vulcan Robo is next, and I couldn't be more excited. So I hope you all enjoyed this journey through the look of Super Mini Plot Jet Icarus. He is a very complicated kit, so I'm sorry if this video ran a little bit longer than usual. It just had a lot of cover, you know? Three transformation modes of individual birds, 
Robot, and Icarus Haken. All these different weapons, all the articulation, all the details. This is absolutely a phenomenal kit. While Live Man may be my favorite Sentai, I think that this is a, you know, Jet Icarus is a better kit than Live Robo. I think Live Robo still has a few restrictions, but it could be designed as well. Maybe Jet Icarus is just more akin to having a cleaner robot. For example, Live Robo has a lot of backpack kibble, just due to design, but yet yeah, look at Jet Icarus. There's like nothing. It's just a seam seamless robot. And I really love that because it looks like it's an action figure of Jet Icarus more so than a transformable model kit. And that is a testament to Bandai's engineering and design teams. So overall, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, unlike other Super Mini Plot based on Power Rangers, just like with Live Robot, I don't believe Jet Icarus is coming over to the US, so you will need to look for an import site to get him from. So I wish you the best of luck if this is something you want to get. I highly recommend it. Now be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and leave a comment down below of which Super Mini Plot you want to see next. Uh, I personally would love to see Five Robo, uh, simply because the original toy is very fragile, despite not being very expensive, and I really like Five Man. I got a soft spot in my heart for it, and I think it'd be really cool to have like Jet Icarus with you know Live Robo and, and Five Robo, and however many more they make. I do want to see this line continue. Also, be sure to check out Hero Club for all your Super Mini Plot news and more at hero-club.com and our graphic designer, Ryan Dark Plus 643 on Twitter at Dark Plus 643 And you can follow me on social media at the links provided at the end of the video. Until next time, this is Sanat saying goodbye.